and we're back with um, another car review. Now, I'm going to review a car that's very nearly similar to the Mazda. Now, um, this is the Nissan Silvia um, S15 Spec R. <coughs> Excuse me. It was um, it was manufactured near um, around the year 2000. Very nice car. You might not think it's um, the same as the Mazda, but it's pretty near. I mean, it's made in Japan. It's a sports car. Um, it produces 250 horsepower. It's rear-wheel drive like the Mazda. It costs about the same. I think this costs about 16,000 credits. The only difference is this has got a piston engine in it. So it does this a bit better. See the boost gauge in the door, and this is unfit, that's a stock. That is a stock feature on all Sylvia's, a boost gauge attached to the where the wing mirror just should be. Not all Sylvia's do that, that's just like, because I'm not like when it drifted. Yeah, I don't know if you've, um, again, like again, oh dear, what a shame. <laughs> This is another good car for drifters. Um, very cheap. Very nice car. Um, very easy to get parts. I mean, I've got to do the burnout test, but now it's lighter. It um, might go a bit better. You just see a crumpled intercooler or a front panel. I honestly think that the later models, the back end, look a little bit better. The lights look different. I mean, they're good at like, setting off and doing real spins like that. So, I've got to see how it handles in the hammerhead. And see if it does well. I think this is a C4, yeah, C404. So it, um, but it can be boosted. I've had, I have a silver on my own, my personal save game. And I managed to boost that up to a... Um, I think that, that was an R2836. But I, um, I couldn't race it, obviously, because the R2s are all like supercars and um, touring cars. So obviously, I was really in the bottom zone. So I, um, I dropped the tyres and um, made it into an um, R3800. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen Tokyo Drift, but this is um, this is probably one of the first cars you see from Hart. This is the first car you see that Hart built. And um, unfortunately, it's um, smashed to bits by Sean. Flying lap, flying lap, flying lap, flying lap. So uh, these are really, really, really nice cars. I mean, they're really nice in real life. I mean, lots of people um, own them. It's like the low spec of GTR. I mean, with the um, this under the R, obviously for the GTR, and then there's the S class, which is like this, the 180, the 300 ZX, the 240. things like that, so um, this comes as part of that class. I think the, um, the 240 is um, an S13 and the 200 is an S14, I don't know why. Oh, I'm off to drift then. This is going to be a mega slab. That was a drift. It's got better ratios than the Mazda, because when I did it in the Mazda, I had to change up to 
fourth, but I don't know whether that's just because this is going slower and I spun off. Oh, I spun! I spun, I spun! That's going to affect lap times. I'm not redoing the lap, that did a 146 just. Did a 146.9. So um, I need to give it a score. It, um, I mean, obviously now I've smashed it, but before it wasn't the best looking car in the world. So on looks, I'd, um, I'd give it a 6. In fact, no, I'll give it a 5. Give it a 5 on um, looks, speed. Give it a 5 again. And price. Give it a 7. So that gives me a raw score of 17. Divide it by 3. 5.6. Not very good, that. I mean, what did the van get? The van didn't get a score because I wasn't doing the scoring system then, but it wouldn't have done very well. So that's 5.6, circle it and put it in the box. So like I was saying, um, I've disabled some driver assist that I have enabled for racers. And um, it's a lot easier to, um, to like send it sideways. So, um, that was the Nissan at Silvia S15. It was, it's now a wreck, but um, there will be more reviews soon. I will, I will carry on recording after this, hopefully. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope I improved your day massively.